On behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, I bring warm Caribbean greetings. I'm also grateful for the opportunity to participate at the 75th World Health Assembly. The theme for this year, Health for Peace, Peace for Health, for recovery and renewal is extremely relevant and I congratulate the team for this choice. I also wish to congratulate Dr. Tedros and Mr. President for election to the very important post. I take this opportunity to recognize the support of the WHO over the years and during the critical management of the COVID-19 pandemic. Countries continue to be affected by COVID-19. Apart from the increases in hospitalizations and deaths, the economic and educational impacts are severe. The mental health impacts are yet to be quantified. As a small island developing state, already managing high indices of chronic disease with limited health systems, the gaps were further highlighted during the COVID-19 challenges. Vaccination continues to remain a challenge and we endeavor to work in the hard in this regard. The contribution of Cuba, the United States of America, India, France, and other traditional friends help St. Lucia through the COVAX facility and through other bilateral arrangements. We say thanks. Taiwan helped also and has proven itself to be a successful model in the global fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, not just by its management of the spread, but by helping countries like St. Lucia to combat the virus. Taiwan continues to be an indispensable partner on the path to global post-pandemic recovery and hopes to work with the WHO and other nations worldwide. We continue to call on the WHO to seek appropriate methods for Taiwan's institutionalized participation in WTO, WHO meetings, mechanisms and activities and invite Taiwan to the WHA as an observer. In doing so, we can fill the gap in international health cooperation and ensure a more complete global health network in the post-pandemic era. St. Lucia's health sector has been reorganized to ensure focus is placed on the critical health programs such as chronic non-communicable diseases, childhood immunization, mental health and antenatal care, just to name a few. The government of St. Lucia also recognizes the value of a healthy nation and will promote a healthy policy that is patient-centered, evidence-based, equitable, accessible and affordable. Mr. Chairman, St. Lucia will contribute to the one billion more people benefiting from universal health coverage. St. Lucia will pay keen attention to the resolutions put forward by the Executive Board and implement recommendations which we have signed on to during these deliberations on the Pillar 1, on the Pillar 2 and on the Pillar 3. In concluding, our delegation will take back lessons from this World Health Assembly, the 75th World Health Assembly, to guide our policy direction to improve the quality of life and well-being of, of St. Lucia society. This will facilitate a peaceful, healthy, and happy society. I thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.